Hello guys, today will be a lesson about Laravel and HTML. I want to tell you about one trick that I've learned really really long time ago, like five years or even more, and it's about checkboxes, specifically checkboxes in editing form and how checkboxes result appear on the backend, in Laravel in our case. I thought it was a well-known issue, but from time to time on forums like Laracast I see these topics. So in edit the form, uncheck a checkbox and this does not get sent through the request and what to do. And I will show you how to solve it from Laravel way and directly from HTML how to show those checkboxes. First demo of the problem. So I've created a new quick admin panel project and one of the fields is checkboxes. So active or inactive record. And if you edit the record, the checkbox is checked by default and in the code. So blade is a typical checkbox type checkbox value is one it's active then it's checked nothing too complicated here and on the back end in the controller update method we just update the record with request all it's a typical way to do that or you can make it maybe more secure if you do only for example name and is active something like that but let's stick to request all because I see a lot of you do that and I deliberately left the bug here. What is the bug? Let's see what request all has inside. DD request all, right? And if we don't change anything, we save and we have the method and the token. So form system fields kind of, and then name and is active. That's good. Now, what happens if I untick the checkbox? See? There is no is active field, there is no checkbox passing. So checkboxes have different behavior in the forms, in the browser, in HTML. For example, if I empty that field and I click save, that field still comes with value. It's null or empty string, it's whatever, but it comes to the backend. In checkboxes case, it either comes with value or doesn't come at all. That's why if you do request all like this, it will not save the value of unchecked checkbox. So if in your database, actually let's do that. So remove that, project update, let's have some kind of name, uncheck the checkbox, and as you can see it's still active, so it doesn't uncheck that in the database, it doesn't change the value from 1 to 0. And there are two ways to solve it. First, on the backend, so instead of doing request all, you could specify the actual array, so name request name and is active request has is active and even that value will tell you if it's checked or not so you don't need to save the value of the checkbox so value one becomes kind of irrelevant here so if the request has the checkbox it's checked if it doesn't then it's unchecked let's try to do that we edit edit the name uncheck the checkbox, we save, and then it is successful. Let's try it other way around. It's successful. So that's one way to specify the checkbox field in the controller specifically. So check if it comes from the front end. But there's another way to ensure that it comes from the front end. So make the HTML change that the checkbox would be always present. And to do that, let's get it back to request all here. And in the HTML, in edit blade, we add hidden field with value zero. Let me show you. Before that checkbox, we add input type hidden name, the same name as the checkbox, so is active, and value zero. Now, what happens here? If the checkbox is checked, then both of them come through, and the second one overrides the first one. If it's unchecked, then it doesn't come through, but this still comes through. So is active comes with zero value then. Let's take a look again. DD request all, and then we edit, and we don't change anything, and then is active is one, right? And we uncheck, then is active is zero, which means that we can safely do request all or request validated or request only, is active will still be present. So in my opinion, it's more elegant solution. And this is exactly what we do when we generate the form with quick admin panel generator, but choose yourself. You may have manipulations on the back end or hidden field on the front end. So that's it, an old trick for me, but I hope it was new for some of you. And see you guys in another video.